to my channel for those of you who are just joining for the first time or you just joined recently thank you so much if you're oldie but a goodie welcome back girl to get another video so today in this video I want to talk to you about five bags that are trending right now in my world these are five bags that I got to get my hands on this summer at least or at least going into the fall now these bags have been on my watch list for some time now now one in particular though I'm actually actively saving up for this one bag because y'all know I love my bougie on a budget bags and I love authentic bags too now I have a rather extensive collection of both I will be showing you all of my authentic bags in another video but yeah one in particular it's a must-have and we're gonna we're gonna get into that one too in this video I have to show you that one but for the most part I'm gonna show you five bags like I said that I I have to have like I have to have these bags like I'm going to get them some way somehow I'm going to get them whether they're authentic well uh, two of them I know are going to be bougie on a budget bags it's just a matter of time when I get them I don't know maybe you're a bag vendor and you're watching that if you want to you want to show your girl some love you see some here that may be in your store go ahead and send it to me you know I love on it you know I'll appreciate it you know how much I love my bags I'm just I'm just putting that out there you know I, I'm just putting that in the atmosphere they said you know you have to claim things so I'm claiming it I know somebody you want to send it to me you are gonna send it to me I'm waiting on it I'm waiting on it call me now I'm waiting on it. Drop my email address down below. Let's get, let's get this set up. Let's get this thing started. But nonetheless, enough of all that foolishness. Let's let's get into the bags that I have now. I already um kind of took a screenshot of the ones that I've been looking at. So that's what I'm doing when I'm looking at my phone. I'm going through my five bags that I just have to have. Do I want to show you the one that I'm actively saving for right now that's going to happen because I'm almost there. I'm about ready to make this purchase. I kind of regret not doing it when I was in Vegas though and I pranced by the LV store like tons and tons. Well, I already let the cat out of the bag, but you already know though that Louis Vuitton is one of my favorite designers. I've said that multiple times here on my channel that I love Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is like my number one designer when it comes to my handbags, but yeah. This, I'm almost there. I'm almost at my goal, and I'll be ready to go on in that thing and buy my bag, honey. But um, the first bag that I want is a pink Chanel bag. I don't have um, a pink Chanel style bag. I do own two pink purses, like a fuchsia and like a light pink bag, and they're in their Hermé Birkin style bags. And you've probably seen those bags in my background when I'm filming in my um my closet area if you will yeah, my closet area honey my closet area honey when I'm sitting in there with all my bougie my bougie things child whatever but there those are like um those bags are like by Cherish Kiss from Amazon they're like roughly $149 I'll have those videos linked down below so that you can see what I'm talking about I think I do feature one of those bags here on my channel but they're like $150 for an all leather Birkin style bag. I love those bags. That style bag is one of my absolute favorite bag styles as well. But yeah, that and that's actually in my list too. But I definitely want a pink Chanel bag. I, I want um, a medium one or a maxi flap. Whatever comes first, whatever happens to fall in my lap, whatever my quaint can afford, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get one in pink because I feel like Pink is a cool color for the spring and summertime. It's cool to carry pink bags. Now the next one. Now this will be kind of new to my collection. I do own one Gucci bag and it's like the, um, I believe it's called the Soho. That just shows you how much I care about Gucci. Now I, I have a love-hate relationship with Gucci. Just like you, I fell out with Gucci too around that whole black FaceTime and then T.I. was telling everybody to stop wearing it because he's no longer wearing it and a lot of other celebrities weren't wearing it. and I totally get it I, I you know I'm down for the calls too I mean I, I get it I get it I get it but at the end of the day I mean whatever Gucci is still popping it's still popular and I want the Gucci um I believe this is called the Ophidia 
tote. Now they have two different styles, but either style tote would be great and welcomed in my collection. I believe this bag retails for like fifteen to fourteen hundred dollars. Like on Neiman Marcus has it for like fourteen hundred dollars, but. Like I said, authentic or bougie on a budget, I would welcome it, but it's not on my top tier to save up to buy. Like I said, I'm already working towards one that I'm about to spend a little grip on, a little chunk of change on, but I deserve that. I feel like we all deserve that type of thing. You all deserve to splurge on yourself, you know what I'm saying? You have to do things for yourself. Life is more than just, you know, bills and grown-up stuff you know you you have to buy things that that make you happy too and this purse is gonna make me happy so I got to have that bag I'm going to get it uh oh open back up so and the next one too is a Gucci bag and this is the Marmont medium I want this one though it is on the style of like the Chanel bags I just think it would be cool to have in my collection in all leather. Now you've probably seen this bag a lot in the velvet. Everybody had that velvet bag. Now I just feel like that velvet mess just played out like, I feel like a velvet piece should be only carried in the winter time and at Christmas. Like why you want to walk around holding a velvet bag? Just, you know, just for GP. Like velvet is for the holidays. That's what that screams to me. So I don't want just like a velvet bag to be carrying it around as my everyday bag. And I'm sorry if that's what you're doing. I know shade, I know attacks on you personally. These are just my thoughts and my feelings on a velvet bag. I just don't feel like a velvet bag is a proper everyday bag. But the Marmont isn't, to me, an everyday bag because it's too small. I feel like that's like a going out, a special occasion. Uh, Bay taking me to um, down to the to the Red Lobster, down to, to, to Connors or Carrabba's or whatever, whatever a nice restaurant is in your area, whatever it's called, I feel like it's for that. Date night, a club, and you know, stun with your girls, that type of thing. That's what I feel like it's for. But if you're a minimalist, then feel free to carry it as your everyday bag because it is a leather handbag and you can get away with doing that over a, a velvet bag. I mean, but I mean, think about it. Most holiday outfits and dresses, they're always advertised in velvet. So that's why in my head I'm thinking velvets for the holidays. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. But yeah, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that one. Now my next one, now Fashion File. If you're not familiar with Fashion File, and this isn't a plug for them, but I just happened to find this bag on their site and it was um, pre-loved. And it's seven thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Now that's a damn Toyota uh, Corolla, ain't it? Like a a late, a, like a fairly late model. I think I feel like I can get a twenty twelve Toyota Corolla for that price, but I would never do it. Uh, I don't think I. Maybe it depends on my situation. Now, if my situation was a progress. You know, and I just got it. You know, if I got it like that, I drop it on it. I drop it on that bag. But this is an Hermé Birkin bag, and I want it in that deep chocolatey coffee brown color. I I love that. Like, bitch, you already got a lot of brown bags. You said Louis Vuitton is your favorite. Yes, it is. And I do have a lot of the monogram canvas print, but that's a print. This is this is solid leather one color and I want it. I want it. That's what I want. Now whether I can get it, uh, you know, authentic label, but if I can't, I'll settle for the bougie on the budget version. But I will say this. If I were to get this style bag in the chocolate color and it happened to be like a bougie on a budget brand, I definitely don't want a logo on it because I can go to Amazon and buy the same bags like in the 40 centimeter or the 35 centimeter for like $145 or $147 and have it in two days via my Prime membership. So I'm, I'm totally happy with getting that style of bag from Amazon for 150 like I, I do that because these bags are just that gorgeous I mean and plus when you have it closed you can't even see the the Birkin logo like you can't even see it so it's like uh sis I mean what I mean yeah you carrying a Birkin but like who really knows it's a Birkin how do I know it's not cherished kiss you know that type of thing so the logo 
isn't visible. So I'm totally cool and confident and comfortable with carrying a Cherish Kiss style bag from um, who else makes a good one? Ani Feel makes a really, really nice leather Birkin style bag on Amazon. So I'm totally, totally cool with that. I'm comfortable with that. I think that bag is absolutely amazingly gorgeous. So if you haven't seen those bags, I have that, that, that video linked down below for you so you can take a look at those bags. I'm telling you, those bags are so, so pretty and the leather is just amazing. The craftsmanship on those bags is just impeccable as well. Trust me, I wouldn't lie to you. I, I, this channel isn't for the lies. Like, And to be, well you know what? YouTube sponsorships and like um, gifted items that's that's a that's a video for another day because I, I have stories to tell you about that as well but let's just go ahead and get into my number one the one that I'm actively saving for and this is the Neo Noe by Louis Vuitton I love 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 this freaking bag I absolutely have to have it and I want it with the black leather and the black trim on this bag and it has to be the monogram canvas like this bag is just so beautiful and I've seen it and held it and touched it before in person and I was instantly in love it was like I just gave birth to my firstborn or something when I when I touched this bag okay like I have to have this bag it is so so beautiful so believe you me I will be having that bag like I said I'm almost there like I have a reserve just set aside just for this bag and it retails for $1,590 now I know like damn that's steep but I mean let me let me let me say this like once you buy an authentic bag like this say I fall out with it in a few months like long as I keep it really really nice the retail um, value of it still kind of holds especially if I keep it up keep it nice and keep all the original um, packaging it'll be it'll be really really easy to sell the bag should I want to so they do hold their value pretty good when it comes to the authentic Louis Vuitton bags like I said I've, I've bought my fair share of pre-loved Louis Vuitton bags and um yeah probably paid a pretty penny for them but not as much as you would get it brand new but I'm confident in the resale of the bag so yes these are the bags that I have my eyes on thus far I'm going to get these bags I have to have them but let me know what are your current favorite bags what do you have your eye on because I mean let's share some things because you, hey, you might know something sis don't hold back on me don't hold out I I'm sharing everything with you like I'm telling you everything that's up here in my head so I want to know what's in your head let me know what you think you might, like I said you might have some favorites that I don't even know about like I look my life ain't dedicated to bags so you might know something that I don't know believe you me now I love I love fashion but my life is more than a damn bag you know I do things and worry about things and think about things and look at things other than bags here and as you see if you're familiar with my channel my channel is it's more than a bag channel, okay? But yeah, that's it for me. I will see you in my next video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads moving forward. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye.